Okay, now I'm going to show uh, what I call my aggressive trade entry setups. I now have some sell uh, hit in the equity side. Uh, finally took us below the zero line. So now I've had sell response in futures and a sell response in equity. That's my first indication now in the strong move actually that we've had some, uh, some sellers come in and uh, either enter the market or possibly mixed in with those starting to take profits. So now I'm watching. I have the delta plotted lower. Prices pull back. Uh, price can trade up to the 1,015 level or higher. Uh, then I'm within two ticks of the last pivot. And what I'm looking for in an aggressive entry, if I have 4,000 contracts from uh, the recent pivot high to where the delta is currently plotting, I'm within two ticks of a high, a breakout high above an area that's held for a while. This is an area I would definitely be willing to take what I call more of an aggressive uh, trade entry style where uh, I'm not you know, having the traditional trade up to a level, market pulls back, then trades up to another level. I'm kind of looking for the last portion of momentum on a buy push after a bunch of inventory was just capitulated. That's the key. I'm trying to get in the, into the market right after the market just had a bunch of inventory cleared out that caused or aided the uh, short covering move here. And I want to get in that pause afterwards uh, where it's going to take new initiated buyers to get into the market to, uh, to drive price higher. So right now I would need to get a fill at 1014.75 or better to be within five ticks of the pivot. As you can see, uh, delta obviously is much lower than the high plot when we touched 1,016. So I'm standing by getting ready to get in this trade uh, now that I have uh, over 4,000 contract differentiation from the high plot to where the delta is currently trading, or plotting, I should say. And like I said, this is what I consider an aggressive sell entry. It's basically I'm playing that the order flow or the inventory that was held off these highs has now been neutralized. So there's not a bunch of new inventory that can be utilized uh, to advance the market higher. It's going to take new buying in futures and in the market to advance price. So anyhow, we touched 1,015.50. We touched the uh, two tick from the high part. I've got my 4,000 contracts and I can get a uh, thousand fifteen uh, traded right here so I'll try for a uh, thousand fifteen quarter if not if I see this uh, level start to dissipate I'll try to get in here at a thousand fifteen that'll put me within five ticks of the most recent pivot order order fill order cancel okay I see that side getting traded I'm in at 1,015. First thing I want to do on this one, I'm going to put a two-point stop, a tighter stop than I normally do. Order Because this is considered an aggressive entry. I'm looking for an absence of buy response after the uh, area, the inventory has been neutralized. And I'm also going to be uh, more aggressive uh, on the exit of this sort of position too because now I'm looking for price to come back to the areas that were bought prior to the market running up and then uh, basically pressing these holders of, this, of the sell inventory and pressing them out of the market. So in this case I'm going to analyze and it looks like we'd be right in the uh, 1010 area and lower where the buyers came in that, uh, that kind of initiated after this first pullback the drive up to new highs. So I'm going to be looking for taking off at least half my position uh, in this 1,010 area or higher. Now 1,010 will put me at five-point at five point target and uh, you know I might get a little buy support just above that so I'll go for four points Order pending. for half of my position. And the only reason I'm t willing to take an aggressive entry is it's a new high that was created on short covering of those that had held the highs, that it sold this area, sold this pivot, sold this pivot, sold this pivot, sold this higher high, then as the equities buy programs came in and drove them out of their positions as the market uh, neutralized all their inventory and caused this price reactivity to trade higher, 
now I'm looking at kind of what I would call like a void left after their uh, inventory has been neutralized. So in other words, they've been driven out of the market. There's real, there's not yet any uh, large inventory built up that uh, can be pressed to cause the kind of price reactivity that we had here when this uh, order flow distribution was neutralized. Okay, at this point I'm going to move my stop to break even. There's no sense taking any uh, additional risk on this trade. The market's definitely traded in my intended direction. Uh, it took a while for the sell response to finally come into the market. Uh, There's a little bit of a pause. Equities activity went dormant for a while and then finally we've had a little bit of, uh, of uh, weakness come in. No full-on sell programs yet, but some weakness. So anyhow, that's where we stand. I'm continuing to watch this uh, trade. And like I said, I'm going for four points on my first target down to the 1,011 level. Okay, these are the, uh, the main delta threshold I'm paying attention to uh, at this time. That's uh, indexed right here, and that's in alignment with this pivot uh, off the 1,008 quarter level. If I see, uh, if I see the market, uh, the delta start plotting down, and through that level, then uh, I'm going to know all the pullback buyers that bought the pullback as we traded up near the highs today. Let's look at this. We made the punch through the previous high, the 1,007. Uh, 75 area. We had a slightly higher high, a little bit of a pullback, and we had an equities buy program led rally that really pushed hard. Uh, had that short trade set up in here. Uh, I got short, made a few points, nothing too big. Then equities came back in as we uh, did have some buyers uh, come in. There were some very sharp order flow transitions here, and uh, this one took a little while, but it was still strong. And uh, and basically the market ran up and then we had the big uh, biggest buy program in equities of the day as this uh, market came up and took out uh, this area and we blasted up to higher highs as all the inventory that was selling all these peaks capitulated and this is new inventory for the most part uh, this is inventory of those that entered trades most likely today here we might get a little help from equities. Uh, I see some selling in here mixed with lower plots in the delta. Now we're getting some of that capitulation of those that I mentioned but had to buy this area to get the breakout. Uh, so, Order filled. Okay, we're filled. I'm immediately going to adjust my trade to reflect my current position size. I'm going to lock in a point and a half of profit have a risk-free trade. Now I'm going for uh, kind of continuation of buyers in here to, to panic that bought the pullback. Basically they buy the pullback to the previous high uh, area, you know, just above it. And now as the, the market trades back towards the entry levels of where they enter their positions and presses them, uh, I want to see the reaction of them potentially covering coming down and giving me uh, another fill. If this uh, target gets filled, then I will most likely lock in uh, probably three points on the last three contracts. And I'll just leave those trades on. I'll leave them through the overnight session. We're one tick away from uh, getting our, our uh, position filled at six and a half point target. Order filled. Okay, now we're filled. So now I'm gonna adjust. I'm only holding three contracts. And I'm going to go ahead at this point, and I'm going to lock in three points of profit. Okay, it's a Sunday night after market session uh, started, 5 o'clock central time. Uh, markets still trading down slightly. Uh, we are now up trading the 104.75, 1,005 level. That would be uh, 10 points from my 1,015 entry at 105. So I'm going to go Order ahead. 10 and uh, thin off one of these positions at a 10-point target, it's profit. So anyhow, we just hit our 10-point, hit a 10-point target, thinning out the position a little bit, going into the after-hour session, you never know what can happen then, and then going in the cash session tomorrow. So that's where we're at, uh, some slight weakness so far. I'll be tracking this uh, most of the night and uh, see what we get. Talk to you tomorrow.